And we have Chris with us this evening because Chris is a fountain of knowledge on drop off bits and permanent installs and all things boosting over the last uh, decade. Much just because it's easy doesn't mean that you can't make money off of it. All you got to do is say, all you got to do is say, unfortunately, that booth is booked that evening, but I do have another one available. Yeah. Good one. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> it I will definitely... always be unavailable. Yeah. <laughs> and for the last four years, I have drummed into you to stop using the word photo booth and start using the word photo or video experience and drop the word booth completely and add another $500 to your price because you are not a photo boother. You're either a photo and video marketing agency or you offer photo and video experiences for wedding digital drop off selfie stations, which are a cost effective solution for any event or occasion. And if so, the text doesn't sell it, the picture fucking will. Look at us. <laughs> Look at us. And again, and you again. can use your own content here. These are just basically this is a Canva proposal. So all we actually for a, for a while pre COVID had a had a brand that was literally called the Bar Booth, um, and so we advertised that. We went to um, uh, the nightclub and bar show. Uh, specifically trying to sell permitted installs to bars, nightclubs, that kind of thing. So that I can gauge kind of, I'll say to them, oh, well, would 1500 or 2000 scare you? Or, or do you think that might be in and around your budget? And once you start putting a number into their head, then they're usually more willing to spit something out. 7,000 divided by 12 is $583. So I might say, okay, it's seven grand if you pay it all up front, or it's 700, 725, 750, whatever per month, if you pay it out every month. I love, <laughs> I love, I love how, how cynical Chris is about it all. He's clearly a man that's done way too many of these. He's like, yeah, I just roll up in the truck and we fuck the booth out the window and then they can <laughs> just dra drag it into the store. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, but it it just shows because I had never thought about doing it that way, Sam. I, you know, yeah. it's all about. But then we do, we do charge for that, you know, and that's where the retainer comes in, where we are managing the install with them. We are we are part of their marketing team. Yeah. Listen, my Big Mac never fucking looks like the picture on the menu board ever. <laughs> ever, that's it never answer. looks like the fucking picture on the menu board. It's not even close. <laughs> That's marketing. That it doesn't stop me buying them. I keep eating them. <laughs> I keep I, fucking eating them. Instinct. What's your instinct? That it kind of makes sense to kind of explore that, or just keep them separate. Um, I would keep them together because you know a photo booth is a photo booth is a photo booth. Whether it's a DSLR, an iPad, a you know who's he, what's it? Uh, they're all you know. It's all something that's taking a photo.